Okay, we're going to do something a bit new. We're looking for the Fly Geyser. Now, I'm pretty sure it's not in there because the top half of this map of Nevada isn't actually in there. I'm not sure where it cuts off. It might cut off just before Reno. I have no idea, but we're going to look for it. Even though I'm pretty sure it's not there, we're still going to see how far we can get. So we only get up to like 130-something nautical miles from Walker Lake before it even just drops off. So these are estimates anyway. Um, but we'll give it a whirl. So we're going to take off from... Oh, not Tanopa. We're going to take off from Pahoot. We're going to see if we can find this thing. Now, what I'm trying to do is make up my own little tactical... Uh, I guess that's 150. Oh, we might just get 160 in there. At 350. So that's kind of where we want to be. Uh, that's my rough estimate of where we're going to be, where we need to be. So what I'm trying to do is um, make a little, let's see, 350, around about, for 162. We're going to try and, well, I'm going to try and make some kind of tactical map outside of DCS where we can do the nautical mile measurements and some kind of flight planning. I'm not saying DCS is lacking, but it would be cool to have something where we can do that outside of DCS so I mean those guys at Eagle Dynamics are making so many different things and there's so many demands on them every time I have a look at their their Facebook or whatever people are just chucking requests at them left right and center uh, it would be good to get an improved ATC but who knows who knows what's gonna happen uh, they've got so much to do those guys and they're they're doing a really good job with what they've got available now the fly guys are I'm pretty sure it's not in there but we're gonna hunt it down see if it's there which my guess is it's not uh, now in real life I don't know whether or not you can visit this because I did watch something that said it's in someone's private property so you can't actually go and view it yourself but this is what we're looking for and I don't know what's there we go. So this is what we're looking for. It stands out like a sore thumb, provided you're low enough and you can see it. I'm pretty sure it's not modelled because the edge of the map seems to end around about 90 nautical miles from Walker Lake. And this is kind of what it would look like from the air, which I doubt it's modelled. I don't know what this is. That's cool. That would be good if that was there, which I don't think it is. So <coughs> I'm going to go with a very... Uh, empty load out and we're going to see if we can find this thing so I'll see you there thank you hand me my lunch and don't look at me okay let's uh, clean things up a bit Request refueling. Request rearming. Am I not going to get any service? Alright, well. Clean up the runway yourself. Alright, let's go. Take off. Rotate. 
I hope no one was down there, because if they were, they're not happy now. Good grief, look at that truck. That's a strafe. Good grief. Slight change of plan, since I can actually mark this. Uh, we're going to fly directly to. Well, well, while we're doing this, let's have a quick look at how to program in your thingies. Oh. Excuse me. So, let's see, how do we program it in? No chaff. Two flares. 0.25. And we want to do it for maybe... Two cycles. It's been a while since I've done that. Oh, well, it works. Always forget which buttons do what. A flare, two, four. Maybe we'll do it for four cycles. Okay. Yep, that works good. Altitude, altitude, pull up, pull up. Disappointed! Clear to land, runway 32. 